Hi everyone, Ian here. So today I'm going to be doing some upgrades to a computer that doesn't get a lot of love on this channel, which is my personal PC. I'm going to be upgrading to a Ryzen 5800X, and because of that I'm going to need to install a much bigger heatsink in my computer. And I'm also going to be upgrading the graphics card to an RX 6600. Now the graphics card is probably the biggest thing that's going to be upgraded, because I haven't upgraded that since uh, 2015 and my current card is a GTX 750 Ti Superclocked. So um, yeah, let's get on with things. Let's get things off by looking at this cooler. This is the Peerless Assassin 120SE from Thermalright. Um, works for AM4 as well as uh, Intel CPUs. And this thing is big, really big. Um, let me get it out. There's a dual fan cooler, and you need to have a big old case for this, which luckily I do, and is actually something you'll see in a second, which is a very big case. And I'd be interested to see if all this is going to fit in. Okay, so that's the mounting brackets. Okay, wow, look at that bad boy. That is a big old heat sink. I immediately bent it then, which is a bit stupid of me. Wow, that is impressive. Okay, do we have a heat sink? AM4, that's handy, they're actually labelled. Okay, and actually comes with some uh, grease as well, which is kind of nice. I had already picked up some, uh, sorry, there's some compound, not grease, or not. Um, I'd already picked up some Arctic stuff, but it's nice to have some others anyway. These are all really clearly labelled, which is kind of good. In some previous CPU coolers I've had, they've just been really not well labelled at all. And uh, it's taken me some time to figure out what's going on with them. I've also got the worry of how much noise it's going to make, because we've got multiple fans here. I don't like a lot of noise, but then I suppose if I've got my headphones on, I am not going to care too much. The only problem is that these instructions aren't actually in English, which doesn't help, but I can follow pictures easy enough. Okay, so it's basically saying put the brackets that are in the M4 bit into the motherboard. That's fine, I can do that. Now, what might pay at this point is just to get my case out and see if it actually is going to fit off the motherboard. Let's first, uh, let's next take a look at this, which is the RX. 6600. So I'm sure some people are going to be commenting saying this is not the greatest card in the world, usually would have been better off with so and so or whatever and it's like, to be honest this was probably the uh, most decent value that I could get at the moment. So it's, um, it was £200, I believe when these were first released they were much more than that. I think they were 320 is it? Something like that. I think at the time a lot of scalpers were kind of making money off of these and things and uh, yeah not a, not a great not a great time this time last year. Let's have a look at what we've got in here. Oh hello. That is a sizable card as well. And I, like I said, I think this is going to be the biggest upgrade I make. It's been like eight years since my last uh, upgrade on, <clears throat> on graphics card. Touch a radio before I pull that out. Old card. 
definitely much bigger than the one that I've got in there at the moment. So I've already upgraded the BIOS on my B Asus B450 motherboards to uh, the most recent version. That allows me to upgrade to the Zen 3 CPU uh, without having to buy a new uh, motherboard. Motherboards are really expensive for the AM5 CPUs, is part of the reason why I haven't jumped up that far. And also I'd have to buy a DDR5 RAM as well. So we kind of got two additional costs there that would be in the mix as well. Um, so you'd end up with like a £350 upgrade over and above what I've already spent on these this, these components. Also bundled into these things I had a couple of um, games included, so the AM, the, the CPU included Uncharted, the Lost Legacy, um, the graphics card included the Callisto Protocol and um, Dead Island 2 which I don't think is out, actually out yet. So factoring in all those things, I kind of felt like it was a decent, um, a decent price, and that uh, worked out at about four fifty all in for all these components. The CPU and the card were both about two hundred quid each, and the cooler was forty. Jumping up to the fifty eight hundred, that kind of gives me the um, headroom for I think a couple of years, probably in using this uh, this computer. So this big boy is my case for my PC, which I've had for a long, long time. You can see uh, on here, which has it has a university sticker on it, which because I used it at university for my PhD. Um, the next test was due in 2009. It was tested in 2008, so uh, that gives you a gauge of how old this case is. And it's probably the only thing that remains from this kind of build that I have um, of everything a long time ago. You can see you've got quite a bit of dust because it's just sat under the stairs. Old school case, a lot of bad cable management going on in here as well. Um, and even got like little bits of felt and stuff, and not uh, felt, uh, foam to help with uh, rattling because it used to rattle quite a bit anyway we need to get this cpu out and uh, put in this new cooler okay so cooler's out and you can see that i uh, perhaps went a bit crazy with it uh, with a the thermal compound for the last time i did this so you can see if i uh, drop this in here i'm taking the cpu out now i do just have about enough clearance for the um uh, for the CPU to go in, for the cooler to go in there, so that is a relief. So we've got the uh, brackets in there now; they are working nicely, and uh, yeah, the heatsink seems to fit in as well. So get the uh, get the CPU out and get that in. What's the point in that box, eh? Just like. Hmm? Oh, there's my cooler. That's ridiculous. Anyway, let's whack this in the PC then. Now, maybe I'm going blind in my old age, but I can't actually see the triangle on the here that you meant to have. Uh, you can see it on here. So you have the triangle on the back there. It's one of these. I cannot tell which. In fact, they both seem to have cut out corners. I don't know what's going on here. I'm of the age where I need a camera to be able to see what's going on. But there, there's, our, well, there's what's going on. Oh, little. Just which blubber my around does it go? We <clears throat> don't know because I can't see. I'm too blind. I just sat here having taken a photo of it, trying to figure out. Shouldn't it be clearly indicated? I'm pretty sure it should be. Is that side? Looks like there's a triangle there to me. Not on the other corners. It's just an elderly man trying to figure out. It's one less pin there. I just can't at all see that with me eyes. Me eyes are just shot. No oh, man. 
Well, it feels like it's in there. It sort of looks that looks right that way around, yeah? What do you think? I think we're going to go with that. <laughs> no idea. The picture on this uh, Peerless Assassin instructions, they, they look like they've really globbed it on there. Like, uh, yeah, wow. I was under the impression you just needed like a little bead, a pea size. So when you said the size of a capacitor. Usually what I do is spread it all over the CPU. Well, that seems all right to me. That seems like a lot, to be fair. Okay, so that's where we are with the paste. I have applied and scraped and yeah. I always think with these things, it's probably better to have too much than too little, which is probably why the uh, last one had so much on it. Okay, let's install this heatsink. And that does actually fit, which is a relief. <laughs> so big. I'm going to take out this uh, old graphics card. Give me some room. Oh my word. I've had a piece of plastic on it. No way. I've never peeled off this piece of plastic. That's hilarious. Wow. That's how um, much I care. I've been sat for quite some time trying to figure out how to put these fans on. But basically you clip on these uh, metal clips, like this. And then basically slot these in. Line them up. And clip it onto the heatsink. Just the bit that is the faff. This one. There we go. That's, that's probably the end I'm going to go at. So I have managed to fit everything in there. Uh, you can see the radion on it and, and the heatsink there. There is not a lot of room. Um, I think what this is telling me is that uh, unfortunately this case is going to have to be put out to pasture sooner or later than later and that I need a better case to be able to cable manage all this craziness in a little bit of a better way. Um, but yeah, for now, it's good to go. We can carry on with this 20-year-old beast. <laughs> okay. So in terms of benchmarks, I tried out Cinebench, uh, 3D Mark, uh, Time Spy, and a couple of uh, games. My old score in 3D Mark was really juddery. Uh, it was obviously very low frame rate, and I was getting all sorts of stuttering and tearing. The old score was apparently great at uh, 1598. My new score was... 8479. Um, in terms of Cinebench, I was getting a multi core score of 9156 and a single core score of 1240. Multi core score now is 15902 and a single core is 15904. And that is about a 30% performance increase on each um, core. And obviously we've got four more cores there as well, so we get that big jump in multi-core performance. In terms of games, I tried out a couple of first-person puzzler games. So uh, Portal 2, older game, 
was getting about 37 frames per second with CPU temps reaching up into the 70s, so pretty high in terms of CPU temps. And this is funny because I'd never really bothered paying attention to them, I hadn't really noticed that they were going up that high because I didn't have anything turned on. Uh, with the new card and the new CPU, I'm getting a FPS of 147, so a significant increase there. With CPU temps dropping to just 45, which is, you know, 30 degrees drop, which is great. Cube 2 is a more recent puzzler which uses Unreal Engine. So that was getting 34 frames per second with CPU temps in the 50s. Um, the new score is 60 frames a second. I think that's actually limited by my monitor refresh rate. Um, with CPU temps dropping to the 30, so dropping 20 degrees in that situation. So this cooler is doing a really good job. Um, I didn't really have a lot of cooling in my um, computer before. I think I had one fan, which was the Wraith cooler, and absolutely nothing else because I didn't want the noise of it. Um, I haven't really been monitoring the noise. It doesn't seem that much more. Obviously, when you're playing games, it is significantly louder. But I think it's manageable, obviously, uh, because you're not going to be noticing it with headphones on and things. So yeah, in conclusion, we've got a decent performance upgrade for 450 quid. Um, we also have three games as well included. We are able to sell the older components that we've got, I think for probably about £150, so it ends up being about a 300 quid cost overall. I think I'm probably going to have to upgrade my uh, case at some point having gone through all this because components are getting relatively tight in there and the case is just not designed for the sorts of things that I'm putting in it now. But it does still work at the moment so I kind of like to keep it on uh, while I can. Um, yeah, and so I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. Um, I would love to have you along for the ride. Both those things really help me out, so thanks very much if you do. And um, yeah, I'll speak to you soon in a new video. Bye for now.